Today I'm going to try to transfer all my files and settings from an old MacBook to a new one. My new MacBook Air is booted up and I have to select a language and then a region. Then I'm going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. After that I'll be brought to a migration assistant screen and I'm going to select transfer my information from a Mac. On the next screen it's going to say that it's looking for a source of the old information and that source is my old MacBook Air. On the old MacBook, I'm going to select Command Spacebar and bring up Spotlight Search and look for the Migration Assistant. I'm going to enter my password. The next screen will ask me how I want to transfer everything, and I'm going to select to another Mac because I want to make a copy of this computer to another one. The old MacBook will now show that it's discoverable, and the new MacBook Air will recognize it. Once it's been paired, I'm going to hit Continue, and it may ask you for an update, which I'm going to install now. When I installed this update, it took like 30 minutes, so have something ready to do so you're not just sitting around. Once the update's installed, it will give you a number that you'll need to enter into the old computer so that they're paired correctly. When you enter the number, hit continue, and it will ask you what data you'll want to transfer to the new computer. I'm going to choose to transfer everything and hit continue, then I'll need to set up a password. After I set the password, I'm going to hit continue, then I'll agree to the terms and conditions, and the transfer will start. If I click the bottom left corner, I can see the connection details, and it shows that the connection is over Wi-Fi and only transferring at 15 megabytes a second, which for several hundred gigs is going to take like 6 hours. I don't want to wait to transfer over Wi-Fi, so I went out and purchased a Thunderbolt 4 cable. These have a USB-C connection and can transfer data about 40 gigabits a second, and I can later use it for a USB-C compatible monitor. Official Apple Thunderbolt 4 cables are very expensive, so I'll have this cheaper version linked below. After I plugged in the Thunderbolt cable, the Mac automatically recognized it, and it started to transfer around 18 to 2100 megabytes a second. And the entire transfer went from 6 hours to about 22 minutes. When everything's transferred over, you'll get a migration complete screen on both computers, and the MacBook will restart. I'll need to unlock the computer, then enter my Apple ID. After I enter my password, I need to enter that verification code sent to my iPhone. I'll then hit continue and the next screen will ask me if I want to use File Vault Disk Encryption. I'm going to select yes to both of those, then I'll set up my Touch ID. Finally, I'll set up the Apple Wallet, then I'll be taken to the desktop home screen. Once I get to the desktop, I'm good to unplug the Thunderbolt cables, and I can now sit back and enjoy a copy of my old MacBook to a new one. As always, if this video helped you, please go out and help someone else. Thanks for watching.